boom, there you go, a cattail. <laughs> and a DIY flush mount circuit breaker bracket. I think that looks pretty good. Don't you? What do you say, ho? In your little cat butt, huh? Cat butt. What's going on, everybody? And welcome back to the channel. Horace is finally down here. Everybody wants to see you. Ooh. All right, anyway, uh, today's video, I'd made some of these little DIY flush mount circuit breaker brackets out of some random metal. Uh, that's pretty much all it is right there. Threaded, you know, all that kind of fun stuff. No, no, Horace is probably going to help out a lot today, hopefully. All right, so I did finally get some circuit breakers for the battery boxes over there in the power wall area. These are... I don't know how you pronounce it. Chitaxi, something like that. Yeah, I don't know. These are 125 amp circuit breakers I'm gonna be putting inside the battery boxes over there. Nope. I don't plan on using these for protection or anything like that. They're just an on and off switch so I can turn off each individual battery box by themselves. I didn't go crazy expensive or anything like these. I think they were only like 20 bucks each and I got two of them. The other one's still in the box right here. Anyway, these are the Chitaxi DZ47NZ-125. And they are B125, which is a B curve. I probably could have went with a C curve, you know, but that's Horace moving the camera. Thank you. I probably could have went with a C curve, but I went with a B curve. If I remember right, a B curve is like two to three times, you know, the 125 amp load, and C curve is like five to 10 times. Uh, don't quote me on that, but it's something similar to that. Anyway, these are AC and DC breakers. If you guys wanted to see, you know, the little specs on here. Um, yeah, there you go. That's pretty much what it is with cats yeah it's just an on and off switch that's all it's going to be all right oh actually one more thing before we actually get to this stuff i may have went and did something very sketchy right here so if we follow these wires down go through a couple of fuses and boom we have a little over nine amps or 500 watts. I pretty much just threw some panels out here on my old solar water heater panels for a test. The reason I wanted to get all those up is because Signature Solar sent me this EG4 bright mount, the solar, little solar rack. Yeah, so we'll be doing a video on this here pretty soon. I just threw those panels out there uh, just for a location so I could try it out. Basically this, I'm going to set this up over there. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much what you get inside the package. This is box one of two. The other box has all the rails and stuff in it, but this looks pretty, really actually super simple to set up. I think with the panels I have out there, I can only fit five, but I'll probably end up just doing four. Yeah, anyway, so we set those panels up over there so we can kind of do a little test run and all that kind of stuff. And then later on, we'll be installing that guy. Alrighty, so basically what we're gonna do today real quick is I need to put up the other box right over here. And then I need to move this charge controller right here and put it right up here, right here. And then the other one right here. Uh, we're gonna do that real quick. And then I went ahead and marked this real quick for those circuit breakers I was talking about this one right here uh yeah hopefully that will fit just fine we'll use my new bracket we got here and just drill a hole right here and hopefully we don't hit anything on the inside right here so yeah that's pretty much what we're going to be doing today cutting holes and of course i'm still going to have to get to this one down here I'm going to have to move the big battery again, at least out of the way. Maybe I'll slide it over there. We'll see. Uh, and then we can at least get to that other hole and cut it. So yeah, we're going to take care of this stuff real quick and then we'll get to the circuit breakers.
Alrighty, got that done pretty quick, actually, and it's not too bad. There's the old one, there's the two charge controllers, and then the, well, this box, it's only got two fuses in it right now for this charge controller. I'll still have to get a circuit breaker, etc., for that, but I don't think it looks too bad. Uh, yes, I don't have these wires connected yet because those are going to go down into this box and we don't have this whole box set up quite yet. So those are still sketchily, you know, dangling right there. But hopefully that won't last too much longer. And then this is just kind of temporarily set up with this piece of conduit right there. I don't know, I was just more or less testing it. So yeah, I'm basically going to have to make a new bracket for these right here so I can drill new holes so it can accept the conduit that I want. I'm going to have to do that for both because I can't really use, you know, the little breakout or the holes that they're using right now. It's not going to work. Basically, I just want to do two pieces of conduit, one going over to the fuses, etc., and then I'll do one straight down into this box, you know, right here. Anyway, uh, yeah, so all of that is finally done. It's not all plumbed in, etc. I still have to add clamps, so I'll do that later on. It's fine for now. So anyway, the next thing on the agenda is cutting the holes right here for the circuit breakers. Yes, I still need to oil that and put that in its rough location. We still have all sorts of room back here to work with and that'll give me plenty of room for the wiring, etc. Let's drill some holes. Oh wait, I gotta move the, the Rhino battery again. I need to pull all these cells out again. Whoever's keeping count, uh, please put that number in the comment section. All right, here we go. Once I start drilling, there's no turning back. Yep, we're doing it. All right, four holes cut. Now we move on to the jigsaw. All right, that was a little more filing than I had anticipated, but this back one over here, I was kind of running into that. So I probably should have drilled all this stuff before I did that, but that's okay. Here we go. Boom. That doesn't look too bad, does it? Or does it look terrible since it sticks out so far? I mean, maybe one day I could bring it more flush mount, but I don't know. I think we'll leave it out like that for now and maybe we'll change it. Maybe we won't. We'll probably just leave it. All right, next is the bracket holes. It's a nice fit though, I'll say that. Okay, now we drill. Look too bad, does it? Get rid of those boogers right there. Let's see if it actually lines up now. Oh, maybe. Look at that. Nice, I like it. I don't think that looks too bad, does it? I think I still gotta get rid of my little pencil marks, but that's okay. I don't think that looks too bad. Of course, I'll have to hook up the wires before I install it since the screws and stuff are on that other side, but that's okay. I was already expecting that, but I don't think that looks too bad. All right, on to the next one. All 
Alrighty, moment of truth. We just could grab the right screwdriver. It's up here. Right where I left it. Boom, all put back together. I just went ahead and put everything back together real quick, threw the batteries back in, threw the big battery back over here just so you guys wouldn't see me do it one more time. But I would say we're looking pretty good so far. So here we go. Here's the new circuit breakers on the boxes. I would say it looks pretty darn good. Uh, I can show you what it looks like from the inside. If you can see it okay. I'd say it looks pretty good. There's plenty of room in there to do all of our wiring, etc. Yeah, plenty of room. Plenty of room. Um, I guess the only thing I just literally thought of right now is if, you know, once we're all powered on and running the house, etc., one of my cats comes over here and says, you guys, we don't want any power to the house and knocks it down. <laughs> So then my next question or thought was, is maybe making some sort of like guard kind of like this right here, you know, similar to that. It doesn't have to be exactly like that, you know, just to put on the side, maybe it'd be a little bit harder for them or something to knock it loose or knock it down. Or if somebody could 3D print something, I don't know, just some thoughts. But anyway, this is what we're looking like so far. I would say we're doing pretty good, you know, just a little bit at a time. I mean, we're not in a race or anything like that. It's just part of the journey. So one more thing done in the journey, all right? So yeah, I would say we're doing pretty good. Uh, I guess the next thing what we'll probably do, or at least the next video, I would like to start plumbing in, you know, drilling holes in the side of here over to this box and then out of that box over to the inverter and maybe doing some more plumbing right here. Again, like I said, this is just temporary because I'm going to have to make new brackets for those. Oh, well, now that I'm thinking about it, I still need to make a vent. Um, for the, you know, just in case there's a problem, I can vent outside. I uh, might end up cutting a hole or drilling a hole either on this corner or on that back corner over there, you know, with a fan or whatever. And then once this piece of conduit is in there, that'll be my tube up to the next box. And then we can drill a hole maybe back over here in this corner. These are just thoughts right now. And then I can come out and go up into that corner right there. And I can just drill a hole in the side of the house and vent it out there. Yeah, I guess that's one other thing I still have to figure out is how exactly I'm going to vent it. Or if somebody else has a really good idea for a vent system, you know, put those down in the comments section as well. Alrighty, there we go. One more step of this journey complete. Two more circuit breakers in the boxes, two charge controllers, and a circuit breaker box on the wall partially plumbed in and then some very sketchy wires and some solar panels leaning up against the other solar panels outside. So yeah, about those solar panels over there, I am probably, I'm pretty much just gonna take down the solar hot water heater panels so I can put up just a regular solar panel rack over there. I'll start with the solar rack that Signature Solar sent give that a test drive and you know, see how it goes. All right, so one thing I do wanna hear from you guys, or at least your suggestions or comments is the guard that goes on the circuit breaker. Do you think I really need one? I don't know, maybe I do, maybe I don't. And then I wanna hear your thoughts on the vent system. I basically wanna have a hole in the bottom one so it can suck air in. It's gonna go through the existing conduit where the wires are gonna go through. And then probably maybe on the opposite corner on the top one, cut a hole there, maybe add a fan if I need to, and then I can vent that out, you know, outside. Uh, if you guys have any other suggestions or comments, definitely put those down below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you on the next one. Um, um, um yeah. What do you say? What do you think? Hey, I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. What do you think of this? Is this gonna work? Yeah, that's gonna work. Thank you. Nope, nope, don't do that.